Retrobowl, an 8-bit classic from the modern era, Retrobowl has taken the world by storm with its easy but addictive gameplay. Behind the game design, Retrobowl. In Retrobowl, you play as an NFL team manager trying to win the all-important Retrobowl. At the start of the game, you choose to run a team of your choice or get a random team. You then play your first tutorial game, followed by the end of your first season as a coach. Next, you go through the draft where you can scout and choose players for your team. With your new team created, you go through 17 regular season games, and if you make it to the playoffs, you can compete for the Retro Bowl title. This cycle repeats every season. Pretty simple, right? But what makes this game so addictive that people will play dozens of seasons a week? 1. Player Choice In Retro Bowl, you can not only pick your team and players, but you can also pick the color of your team you wear, the football they play with, and how you upgrade your players. This allows you to feel like you're really managing your own team. Due to this, an attachment to your players can form. I remember back when I was managing the New York Jets, I had a wide receiver named Mun something. I really loved him because I could customize and work for my team's needs. Because of this attachment and strong player choice, you can find the fun in even pretty repetitive seasons. 2. Ease of Management Games are getting more complex, that's just a fact. But Retro Bowl has gone in the opposite way if you only control the office and the basic stats of the players only having four options. So the game is user friendly and easy to get to, even if you're not skilled in video games or knowledgeable about football. But the ease of management also extends to the actual management of your Retro Bowl team. Your team size only extends to 10 or 12 people with a premium membership. This allows you to focus more on having a connection with your players. 3. Variability and Difficulty One of the most user-friendly features is allowing your players to choose what difficulty they are playing on. Retrobowl has an easier, medium, hard, extreme, and dynamic difficulty. Dynamic is the most important of the five because it changes the difficulty of the game depending on how you are doing. Win a lot of games, it gets hard. Lose a lot of games, it gets easier. Simple. But this fact allows players to experience the game as they want to. As there is no traditional progressive system, Moving up in difficulty allows the player to progress on their own at their own pace. But for all the great game design principles Retro Bowl has, it does have a major problem is that you don't play defense. Though I said the lack of defense helps in the design of the ease of management, but due to you not managing your defense, you can feel like you can't control your chance of victory. Sometimes, especially on the higher difficulties, your defense may never stop the enemy's offense, leading to you have an almost certain defeat. Though I agree with the way Retro Bowl handles defensives due to the way they handle movement and direction not correlating well to a defensive focus. So, to allow you to control your defense but without having to build up an entirely new movement system, the game could use quick time events like how they use for field goals. So, if you ever have some free time and want to play a blast from the past, Retro Bowl is a good game to try.